everything we could have possibly asked to happen for that game that we made happened. It was a best case scenario. And yet still, even in a best case scenario, the profits were just not sustainable. They just weren't enough. And so that led to a point where I really had to look at it and I really had to think about what I wanted to do. It's, for me, when you're doing a business or when you're living your life, it's really just about being honest with yourself about what your, what your goals are. What do you want to achieve? And for me, I love making video games but my main goal was to have a business that I felt like I could grow and that I could thrive with. And for me, having that unpredictable stream of making whatever games I wanted and seeing how they did, that didn't fit that goal for me. So what I did was I sort of looked at where we were and I realized that when I went and talked to people about video games who didn't make video games, they would get so excited. <laughs> they would just light up. They'd be like, oh my God, you make video games? That's so cool. <laughs> and what I realized was that instead of making entertainment games and competing for the same audience with hundreds of other companies, why not take video games to those people who were so excited when they said, oh, you make video games? That sounds so cool. So make games that work for those people's needs that help with, you know, medical stuff, that help with health stuff, that help with education can benefit from what games do so, so well, which is engage people and create meaningful content and just make something that's fun to interact with. So I decided that I wanted to go into those industries, have a more contract-driven business model, which was more predictable for me, which was one of the things I wanted. Mm. And so we rebranded the company as Game Theory, and that's been the space that we have sort of been in since that point. 